Hello Internet, and welcome to another Showdown video. Now, um, if you watched the last video, hopefully you saw um, and enjoyed my really, really, really old, um, very early VGC13 Trick Room team. And um, I'm mean, basically completely failing <laughs> with it, but you know, as, as you would expect, basically just popping it into a, a format a couple of years into the future, um, with a whole new typing as well. Um, now, not quite uh, VGC 13. This is a VGC 14 team that I built quite a long time ago, um, and it's adapted from. Um, I think it was the first, the very first VGC 14 team I actually made. Um, there was a tournament going on in Manchester, and um, I wanted to enter. I felt like going, and so I, I, I basically threw together um, a trick room team, which. Um, was built around the idea anyway it was built around uh, the move trick or treat because this was a brand new move introduced in X and Y um, I, I quite like the I, I still quite like the idea of it I, I want to play around with a smurgle with trick or treat I want to sort of play around like that but um, but uh, yeah basically the idea was um, I mean I guess it was kind of um, you know with that old trick room team in mind as well that you might have seen in the last video just basic sort of hard trick room with um, you know a, a little extra trick basically so that I could trick or treat something turn it into um, a, a uh, ghost type that's the one and uh, then I can you know suck a punch if it's super effective with uh, Moal I can crunch it with Tyranitar uh, I can shadow ball it with Chandelure and I can crunch it with Scrafty so I've got these options to basically um, you know, knock things out that I wouldn't normally be able to um, with um, you know these, you know, with the, with the trick or treat boost. Basically, that was the idea behind the team. You know, I'm not saying that this team was you know in any way brilliant or good or anything. Uh, this team is a little bit different to the one that I actually entered um, the Manchester tournament with. Um, I got top four in that tournament, I think. So um, you know, it worked out okay. But um, you know, let's see how this goes. Okay, ooh. Now, all the times playing Trick Room, um, I have never been fond of playing Trick Room on Trick Room. Um, it's more while. Um, okay, Kofagrigus is an interesting choice. Um, it's the only Trick Room setter that he's got, and uh, his team does actually look a little bit slower than mine. Uh, Snorlax is very slow, Mega Camera up very slow. Um, so, I don't want Trickham to go up this game. Um, this Sylveon is going to be a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, Kofagrigus is quite interesting. It's uh, bulkier than uh, Dusk Noir. Um, and, um, you know, you often see with a mental herb, so you can't just taunt it. Um, you know, obviously, it's, uh, you know, not quite as bulky as Dusk Clops, Dusk Clops but um, um, it does have, you know, obviously the advantage of not being uh, encumbered by a. Um, a Nevia Light, so there is that. Um, he has got um, a fake out in Hariyama, I've got a fake out in Scrafty. Um, how much speed have I got in this Scrafty, if any? Uh, okay, I've got 12 speed, so I should be faster than this Hariyama um, if I wanted to go, you know, fake out versus fake out. Um, this uh, Sylveon does worry me though. Um, I don't think he's going to lead with Camera Upt, but I am a little bit worried about him leading with. Um, the Amoongus. Um, I want to lead with Chandelure and I want to lead with um, oh, this is tricky actually um, I'm gonna go Chandelure and I'm gonna actually go Gorgeist as well um, which might seem odd. I'm gonna have Mawile in the back and I'm gonna take uh, it's either Scrafty or Tyranitar um, I think they're both weak to Sylveon um, but I'm gonna take Scrafty just because he's got this Snorlax. So let's see how this goes. Okay, well he is led, he is leading with camera up, so um, yeah, that's a <laughs> that's a problem. That's a big problem for this lead. Um, okay, yeah, that that's a big problem. That is a really big problem. I've got I haven't got Focus Sash or anything on this Chandelier as well, so. Um, it is basically going to go down um, with an earth power. I'm expecting a protect and uh, a trick room with Kofagrigus, so 
What I'm going to do is, I'm going to hope he does that. I'm going to shadow ball the Coffee Krugus. So I'm going to go for my own trick room uh, to try and reverse it. So let's see how this goes. Now, like, this is one of them really hard predictions that if, if this goes wrong, yeah, this is probably going wrong. Um, ouch. Um, I'm not going to be in a good way now. Yeah, that did not help me at all. Um, I've got to... Um, I'm surprised actually that that Shadow Ball, I mean it is Life Orb boosted, but I am surprised that that Shadow Ball did knock the Cofagrigus out. Um, ah, that's not good, that is not good. This Hariyama can just fake out my Scrafty now. Um, I don't think this Gorgeist has uh, Protect on it either, so um, it's just going to Heat Wave. I think, um, yeah, I don't think... Oh, it does have Protect on it. So, um, okay. I mean, it's just going to Heat Wave still though. Um, Oh dear, yeah, this is this is not good. This is not good at all. Yeah, I need to I need to reverse trick room. I shouldn't have gone for that trick room um, first turn. I thought the shadow ball would do like um, I don't know, sixty to eighty percent or something to the. Uh, ouch, to the um, to the Cofagrigus. And it would get Trick Room and I would reverse the Trick Room. But it didn't work out like that. Um, obviously, I'm underestimating Life Orb. Shan I did actually forget that it had uh, Life Orb. <laughs> Whoops. But, <laughs> but um, oh well. Um, see, this is this is just really awkward now. Now, my own Trick Room has just, uh, you know, ruined, ruined my game. Um, I mean, there's nothing I can do apart from just hope for a, a Heat Wave miss. Which, um, wow, well it survives, but um, my Gorgas is going to get knocked out by Hariyama now. Oh, well, no it isn't, wow, okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, that's a really bulky Gorgast. Wow, wow, it survives a Mega Camera up Heat Wave and an Ice Punch from Hariyama. That is impressive. Uh, basically now, I can still win, but um, I need to get really lucky. Really, really, really lucky. Um... Yeah, I need to rock slide and um I mean he might even wide guard. If he wide guards then it's game over. I mean if I had Iron Head then I could, you know, maybe flinch camera up to a little bit, you know, more more reliably. But no, I think this game's over. Okay, well, you know, I could I could flinch him. Oh no. No. Okay, well that's 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 that <laughs> that's that done with. That worked well, didn't it? So you know, I think I think you can start to see why um, these teams that um, I'm using now they never you know they, they I didn't take them any further really. They don't do very well, do they? Um, okay, what have we got? We've got another Sylveon. This Bisharp is a big problem as well. Um, that's a massive problem actually. That Bisharp, that's a huge problem. Um, I'm going to um, lead with Gorgeist and um, oh, this is this is pretty nasty. Um, Gorgeist and Zapdos. Just I don't know. I I don't want to give it a defiant boost. Um, I don't really want to lead with Chandelure. I don't want to lead with Tyranitar. So Zapdos is. You know, my only other choice, really. Um, but I do want Scrafty, and I want Mawile as well. Um, just in the back. Um, but, you know, let's see how it goes. As you can see, um, you know, with that last video, and uh, this video, Trick Room, I mean, I've not used Trick Room for, a, you know, for quite a while, but, you know, not like I'm trying to make an excuse or anything, but, um, oh, he didn't even lead with Bishop. But, um, it's just, it's, I don't know, it's not my cup of tea anymore. Um... Choice scarf and leftovers. Um, okay, I'm gonna protect and um, I'm gonna put Scrafty in because uh, you know if he U-turns and the U-turn goes after the switch, and I'm not gonna give the the Bishop a, a defiant. Okay, I can deal with that. 
Okay, yeah, I thought he thought he might have gone for knockoff actually. All right, and the substitute there, so that's that's a little bit painful actually. Um, yeah, that's that's quite a lot painful. <laughs> um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Zapdos in because he's obviously going to go for a heat wave and a knockoff again. Um, I'm just going to go. You know, you don't you don't see Ice Punch on Scrafty anymore, and this Scrafty is my super special Scrafty with expert belts. So. <laughs> So I'm expecting this to one-shot Landorus, which would be nice, but I'm still going to be in a bad position afterwards. No, he protects the Heatran, you know, reasonable play. Oh, he knocked off my Expert Belt. And, oh, Ice Punch still knocks it out, okay. So that, you know, that worked out okay. We haven't seen any um, trick-or-treating yet, have we? Which uh, is unfortunate. I remember using trick-or-treat, you know, a fair amount... Um, right at the beginning of the format, but um, but not <laughs> not since. Right now he's gonna he's probably gonna fake out, isn't he? One of these things um, and heat wave, which nothing in the back wants to come in on. Um, but I haven't seen what he's got in the back, uh, Scrafty. I mean, if it is Bishop in the back, I mean, I would expect it to be Bishop. If it is Bishop in the back, then I really do need to preserve Scrafty. Um, in which case, I'm going to uh, get rid of this substitute and just put Gorgeist in. I mean, it's not going to go down to um, a heat wave. be interesting, actually, because this is, um, you know, a more defensive heat trans. It's got leftovers and everything. I'd be interested to see if, with a Citrus Berry, this Gorgeist is even, um, you know, it's even a 2 at KO on. Um, with the, you know, with the heat wave. We'll see. It isn't, wow, wow, it doesn't even need a citrus berry for it to be a, a 3 k that's amazing. Um, but now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Scrafty in, I'm gonna Trick Room. I'll say that with some hesitation. Um, because it, this, like, I don't know, if it double edges the Scrafty, um, it's definitely not going to appreciate both a double edge. Oh, he power up punches, so he predicted that, and he gets a critical hit. So um, you know, it's definitely not um, not being too kind. Oh, and a critical hit there as well. Wow. Okay, so I would have got Trick Room off there. Um, does go guys? No, it doesn't. Um, wow, this is uh, this is not going well for me at all. Now he can just suck a punch, uh, Mass Grafty, and basically win from there. So, um, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's not very good. <sighs> um, yeah, there's not there's not much I can do here to be honest, is there? So come on, showdown. There's more while. Okay, well I've got Kangaskhan at uh, neutral now, but um, a heat wave and a you know and a double target. There's there's not no chance that. I can survive this really. Um, you know, I was trying to play around it a little bit. I've searched for another battle. I'm in another battle. I think this is um, this is. The, I mean, sorry if like SPQR720 is watching this, but this is like a sort of a um, a pity team now. I've lost so many games <laughs> that, that I get the Agron and the the Alakazam. So <laughs> so watch me lose to this now. This will be funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, all of these are fast apart from the aggro, and I'm pretty um, happy with um, you know that I can get the trick room off here. I think um, so. I'm gonna go Scrafty, and um, yeah, I'm gonna go Gorgeist, and I want Moal for that, and uh, maybe maybe this aggro could be a little bit of a, a problem. Um, hmm, I've got yeah, I've got Ice Punch for the gosh. I'm probably gonna take Chandelier. Um, yeah, so power, yeah, fair enough. Oh, wow, the, yeah, there's Zapdos, it'll, it'll probably heat wave as well, so at least it is going to go down, but, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, just another example of, uh, a bad team, to be honest, isn't it? There's nothing that I could do with this, um, I mean, did I play it badly? Um, I don't know, maybe I did get a little bit unlucky, actually, looking back, I did get that, the critical hit on the Gorgeist, which, um, I mean, if that was absolute minimum damage, um, then maybe this critical hit wasn't like necessary. But um, 
you know, who knows, maybe, I think he probably was a little bit unlucky. Um, you know, I would have got the Chakrum off, I would have, um, you know, had four turns to, um, you know, have my way, basically. It would have been, you know, pretty nice. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing I, I can do, really, unless he um, misses all of his um, heat waves and I get a critical hit with this player off or whatever. I don't know. But, okay, so we've got Sylveon and Rotom. So these are two Pokemon that I really don't like to see. Um, Scrafty doesn't have Lumberry. Oh, he's got a Chesterberry. Oh, choice specs. Wow, Frisk here. Um, you know, doing a bit of a bit of a, a job on him. But um, yeah, okay. He doesn't even go for the uh, the uh, the miss potential. Um, Player off doesn't knock out the Kangaskhan, which is unfortunate. He's just going to suck a punch now, isn't he? So. Uh, um, Okay, well, my opponent apparently left, but, you know, I'm sure he'll come back because he's got that game won. Um, uh, I don't know, whatever, I'll leave it. Um, and, I'm get yeah, Specs, that's interesting. That is interesting. I'll fake out the Sylveon and I'll go for a Trick Room. Um, yeah, the Rotom Wash, I mean, it'll do, um, I don't know if it Hydro from it's Scrafty, then it'll probably do, like... I don't know, 60, 70 percent or something. But wow, it's Specs with Will-O-Wisp. Now that is uh, curious. Um, I know that that is locked into uh, Will-O-Wisp now, so I'm actually quite safe to bring in Chandelure. Uh, I'm not going to bring Moile in on um, a uh, Hyper Voice because it will hurt. Without Mega Evolving, it will do a lot of damage to it. So I'm going to get a bit of damage off with this uh, Seed Bomb. Yeah, it's a 2 at KO on, on not so bulky ones. Okay, so he's not even um, going for the uh, the thingy. Um, and, oh, well, that's unfortunate because I was in a nice position there to show off Trick or Treat. I could have used Trick or Treat and Shadow Ball on the Sylveon to, uh, you know, which even a plus one would have knocked it out with a, a Life or Bite. A DSC it would anyway. Um... But, okay, so my opponent from that one apparently left. I'll search for one more then, um, seeing as we haven't had um, a third complete game yet. Um, um, Mr. Mordor. Let's see how this goes. In. Okay, so this is another uh, very interesting uh, team, actually. I like the Bennett. Bennett is one of them Pokemon, one of the Megas that I felt kind of sorry for. I think it, it, it can be okay. Um, it's not as bad as, as people kind of... Um, you know, might think that its usage stats might, you know, portray. But yeah, this is a, a you know, it's a. I say it's a threatening team. It looks, you know, exactly the same to every other team out there, bar the uh, Banette and uh, you know maybe the the Ludicola. You know, everyone seems to use these four Pokemon in the middle now. Um, you know, maybe Terrakion isn't, you know, quite that common, but it's it's rising. Um, so this Banette can actually uh, put in a bit of work on my team um, but other than that I don't know he might lead with that I can't obviously can't fake out the Bennett he might have Taunt um, they don't tend to carry Taunt though I think I'm safe-ish leading with Gorgeist and um, hmm, I don't know this is, this is he might lead with Ludicolo as well, with his own fake-out um, pressure, so I'm not going to lead with Scrafty, but I am going to lead with... See, I kind of want to use Tyranitar, seeing as I haven't yet. I'm going to lead with, uh, you know, just just because, I'm going to lead with Tyranitar and Gorgast. I'm going to have Scrafty in the back, and I... Mm, yeah, again, I want... I want Moal, because he has got Sylveon, so, you know, let's get into this, see how it goes. Hey, at least I technically won them last two games. <laughs> so, so this hasn't been a complete failure. Okay, so he does lead with Ludicolo, and he leads with Heatran. That's um, you know it's interesting because um, you know I have oh chocolate berry because I have got um, um, uh, thingy the fire one Chandelier. I suppose leading with Ludicolo, Ludicolo, he he felt he was covering that, but. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a Rock Slide, and I know that I can survive um, a Heat Wave, basically, so I'm just going to go for a Trick Room as well. If he um, Scolds or Giga Drains or Earth Powers my Tower, I'm holding the Weakness Policy, and it will definitely appreciate a nice plus two. 
Um, if he scolds and he gets the burn, then that will be annoying as well. It would be typical, to be honest, wouldn't it? I mean, that's that's how the games have been going this evening. But um, yeah, I hope you've uh, you know noticed that the sort of resolution or whatever in these last two videos has been a bit different. The um, size of the screen, um, hopefully a bit more appropriate. Hopefully you can sort of see what's going on a bit better now. Um, because uh, yeah, someone someone commented in my last video. Yeah, thanks for all the comments on that last video. It's been nice to um, you know get a bit of an idea of what you're thinking. Okay, he can miss as well, which helps. Um, okay, so now I can. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm just because I haven't yet. I am going to crunch the Ludicolo and trick or treat it. Just because we haven't seen this happen yet, and. Um, I <laughs> I don't even know if it'll one shot it. Um, I think it will though. But um, you know, just just because we haven't seen it happen yet, it'll catch him off guard as well. You know, I've not seen anyone use trick or treat aside from you know myself. Um, I don't know. I don't think the heat ran. Oh, okay, maybe the heat run is is threatened, but maybe with int the intimidate, this is not going to knock it out. But yeah, it's not going to. Oh well. He just called me, hopefully no burn, yes, no burn, excellent, my weakness policy activates, and now I'm in a really good position, because I can Ice Beam this Landorus, and I can Seed Bomb this Ludicola, so, yeah, there we go, Trick or Treat and Crunch, I hope you enjoyed that, <laughs> something that you don't see every day, but that is, you know, that was the idea of this team, basically, just to sort of play around with that, I don't think Landorus is going to expect an Ice Beam, um, I don't know, it's a, it's a, it is a Trick Room Tyranitar, so maybe they are uh, more inclined to be mixed because you don't have to invest in a, a speed or anything. You can. Yeah, oh, he's got a, a Yachi Berry, but a critical hit at plus two. I wonder if that would have mattered or not. Plus two, um, you know, kind of negates the, um, the Yachi Berry, I suppose, so I'm inclined to say it didn't matter. Um, so I've got Scrafty and I've got Mobile in the back. Um, so this Heatran, I guess, is the bigger threat. Um, Burnett can... It can Will-O-Wisp. It can... Um, disable as well. Uh, pranks to Disable is its little niche. Nothing else can Pranks to Disable. So I'm going to... Um, I'm actually going to... Uh, Trick or treat and crunch this Heatran. I'm expecting the Heatran to protect. Um, in which case, I could just like you know crunch the Bennett. But I've got another turn of Trick Room left after this, and the worst thing that the Bennett could do to Tyranitar really is burn it. Um, and if it does, um, I think I've still got options. Okay, so excellent. Haha. <laughs> well, good way to finish the video. Um, so well, there's a burn, but he didn't protect with the Heatran, so Trick or Treat Crunch again. Wow, that's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so I've, 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 I've got this game won now, basically. You know, maybe he'll disable the Crunch, you know, whatever, even if he does. Um, I've got plenty of things in the back that can knock this Banette out. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that I finally managed to, uh, you know, get this Trick or Treat to, to show, um, you know, people what it can do. It's a nice move, I like it. Um, but I suppose it is reliant on double targets, as we've seen here. Um, yeah, there's a disable, like I've been saying. Um, but, you know, I don't I don't care about that. Um, and, um, um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing that you can do, really, to be honest, is there? Um, I mean, uh, what, Shadow Force, it's, it is powerful. Burnett does have a really, really high attack, but... You know, it's going to get intimidated now. But, um, yeah, it relies on double targets, trick or treat, um, I guess. But it's one of them gimmicks that, that I don't know, it works. I like it. Unfortunately, I can't make him, uh, you know, double ghost. But, <laughs> you know, this will, uh, you know, whatever. He'll, he'll probably burn Maskrafty and uh, I've got Expert but I'll still knock it out with a, a crunch and a... Uh, a seed bomb, or we can just try and stall out and waste time. But um, no, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. I've certainly enjoyed, you know, a, a good ending to this video. The first two games were a little bit terrible, but um, you know, this, um, you know, it's it's just, yeah, it's just showing you what what else is out there, isn't it? 
Okay, whatever. Uh, see, I've not, I've not been thinking about this. I mean, I'm obviously still going to win, but um, it's probably going to disable my um, seed bomb now. But yeah, this is just going to take an extra moment to to knock this Bennett out. But I don't, I can't see any way of of me losing this game now. Uh, yeah, I suppose I should switch the Scrafty out and I can intimidate it again and whatever. But I mean, you know, and get rid of the disable but I'm just I'm just playing sloppy now I've got the sand up I'm willing it down just because there's there's no need to um, he's probably going to protect now protect out the last turn of trick room so I'm gonna bring these these things in but yeah oh the background music stopped Oh wow, he's got pain split again. Okay, or not again, but I didn't expect that. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> um, it's just gonna burn me, isn't he? So uh, I don't know. I'll protect. I'll trick room, and then he'll protect, and then disable my play rough. But um, yeah, you you can leave now, guys. You don't have to watch this. You you can take my word for it that I win. <laughs> But no, I like Bennett. It's a good Pokemon. Okay, now he's he's, he's going to burn the Mawile, isn't he? But uh, you know, a burnt play rough um, plus a seed bomb should uh, knock this Bennett out. So yeah, I mean, like you know, like I said at the end of the last video, I've hit um, you know 600 subscribers now, which is a nice little target. It's a nice little number. Um, you know, thanks a lot for that, guys. You know, I am hoping that you're enjoying the content. Um, but again, you know, please feel free to you know like this and share it with your friends and whatever. Um, you know, all the help is appreciated. Um, but you know, hope you've enjoyed this, guys. Um, thanks for watching again, and goodbye for now.